Well, until not long ago, Bradley Keyes was the track and field coach at Pembroke Academy, a high school in New Hampshire between Concord and Manchester. A couple weeks ago, Pembroke's athletic director told Keyes that all athletes would need to wear masks during their events and all of their races, even when they were running outside. Now, there's no medical reason for that. Science doesn't support that order. And in fact, it seems very unhealthy. And Bradley Key said so. He wrote a blog calling the policy, quote, insane, irrational, and stupid. And then he added this. I will not stand up in front of the kids and lie to them and tell them that these masks are doing anything worthwhile out in an open field. He added, fire me if you must. So they did. Bradley Keyes was fired. He joins us tonight. Mr. Keyes, thanks so much for coming on. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a remarkable story. So w many questions here, but do you believe there was any science at all behind this policy? Well, thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Uh, no, I don't. I have seen nothing that indicates there's any real reason for this. What would happen? I mean, it's, it's hard even to imagine what would happen to a sprinter, for example, with a mask on. I mean, how can that be healthy? Well, it's funny you mentioned that. I decided a couple days ago to go run a 200 meter and a 400 meter out on the track with a mask on. So I'd actually have firsthand experience. Yeah. Um, I knew it would be bad. I've run the races before. What I didn't quite realize was that as you inhale over and over again hard, you're actually sucking the mask into your mouth and your nose. It seals around your face. So there's no airflow around the edges, which is how they're designed. Uh, everything has to come through the fabric. And it takes extremely exhausting races and makes them significantly worse. And then I got thinking about what's, what's happening with any particles that are coming off the masks. What are you actually breathing into your lungs over and over and over again? And I got even more concerned about the um, possible health effects. Well, it's so crazy and it's so obviously bad for kids that when you objected, I've got to ask, what did the headmaster of the school say? What did, what did your bosses say? They've been silent. Uh, that's what I'd really like. And people are starting to push now. Um, I would like somebody to stand up who supported this and made the decision or the recommendations and say why. What was the rationale behind it? I haven't heard anything. Honestly, I'm guessing we won't because I don't think there is a way to stand up and justify this. No, I agree with you. It's just shocking that they fired you and so impressive that you fought back and are speaking out about it. On what grounds did they fire you? How did they, how did they say, you know, you're canned? Like, on what basis? I, I refused to implement the school policy and for my unprofessional way of addressing it. Can they do that under New Hampshire law? I think they probably can. I'm not unionized. It's a part-time job. I have a full-time job elsewhere. I'm self-employed. I, it's not about the money. I'm not even worried about being fired. I won't work in an organization that does that anyway. Uh, I, and I put their backs against the wall. I didn't give them much of a choice. And I was hoping for a reaction because I wanted to get some other people to start talking. And hopefully, yeah. I mean, my goal is to get these mandates removed. And it's not just track and field. It's tennis. It's baseball. It's every outdoor sport. Masks right. will be wear. Masks will be worn all times. Practices and competitions. Tennis, wonderful example. Singles tennis. You go watch practices, everyone's wearing masks. Competitions, they will be wearing masks, even though they're 30 to 60 feet apart on the courts. Well, I think you're kind of a hero for doing this, and I hope you're treated like one in Pembroke, New Hampshire. I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate being on.